Hey, how's it going everybody? Hope you're doing well. This is Yoshi and uh, does, it, does this look familiar to you? Yes, I've got the new GSI wheel, Gomez Sim Industries Formula Pro Elite. I've been using this uh, wheel for a week now uh, in my Formula Renault 3.5 races and uh, yeah, I thought I should share with you my thoughts and impressions on this wheel. Well, spoiler alert though, I'm pretty happy with this wheel, so stay tuned. Since getting my Leo Bodna Sim Steering 2 five years ago, I've only used two wheels for my sim races. One is a D-shaped sparkle wheel. I've used this for rally. Uh, GT car racing and sometimes in uh, Mazda yeah so and uh, another one is this C shaped sparkle wheel with uh, Ash Asher racing uh, bottom box I've uh, mainly used this for formula cars they both served me very well and uh, they're both 280 mil uh, diameter wheel I have been in the market for Formula wheels with a dash monitor on it for some time now but uh, unfortunately our choices have been limited and uh, most often expensive and basically I've only set my sights on three uh, one is from uh, Cube Controls Formula CX CSX Pro and the Precision Sim Engineering GPX and the LMX wheels given the price tag goes up to 2300 pounds it was a tough one to uh, pull the trigger on so yeah the closest one we had was the cube controls formula csx pro at 1499 pounds that is VAT included but i was not too keen in plugging two usb cords and having the plas plastic usb connection at the back of the wheel I first saw this wheel in Dan Suzuki's uh, Twitch stream and I was happy to see that it's got a very sturdy metal USB connector at the back and relieved to know that uh, we only ha we only needed one USB cord to be connected on the PC. With a price tag of 1435 US dollars including the puddle clutch here was rather an easy decision to make. They are uh, hand built by Gomez himself who occasionally streams the assembly on his Twitch streams and the quality is on point. My initial impressions were very good as they came in very professionally uh, professionally packaged and the thing looks much nicer than I anticipated in uh, in real life. And a few things that I was surprised uh, about was the size and the weight. I, as I mentioned earlier, I am used to using the 280 mil uh, steering wheel, especially the C-shaped sparkle wheel. And uh, I also felt like the I didn't anticipate that the 31 three, 310 millimeter diameter would feel so much different. <laughs> And uh, I felt like I was using slightly different muscle group than usual as I felt my elbow was uh, aching in the few first few sessions. And it took me around two to three races uh, to get used to the size and uh, also the very hefty grip here. With the rubber grip you can actually use this without gloves but uh, unfortunately I have a very sweaty hands that it gets sleepy. Uh, sleepy uh, especially when going through the apexes and bumps here it's sometimes it slips on me so if you have a sweaty hands like myself I uh, highly recommend still you not throwing away your gloves yeah also the shifter has a loud clicking noise uh, I don't know if you could hear me I'm using this mic here but it uh, it tends it, it, it's uh, susceptible to sounding annoying on your streams 
when you're doing a lot of shifting yeah <laughs> so yeah but uh, I think this could easily be dumped with rubber stickers so I'm not too concerned about this and um, what else it uses a sim hub software which I had to adjust to tune the R uh, RGB rev LEDs for the formula Renault 3.5 all the software that you need is actually in the Discord Discord server, uh, GS GSI Discord server, and uh, they've actually included some of the uh, profiles for the um, RGB LED lights. Yeah, but I had to tweak mine for some reason. Personally, I'm very happy uh, to have some information readily available to see such as race gaps and tire times and fuel and uh, I am surprised that I am actually using it more than I I thought I will be using it because uh, I thought it's go it was going to be a little bit difficult to switch from monitor to looking at the uh, uh, the the dashboard here but actually when you're in the straights it's actually easier to look at yeah? it's not too difficult Plus, I have my wheel slightly elevated. Uh, I, I, I try, I try to be very accurate in my FOV and the alignment of my wheels. That it's actually easy to transition from monitor to this dashboard here. For a first product, I think Gomez and his, the entire GSI team has really nailed this one. This is a home run in my books. Uh, the build quality functionality aesthetics and most importantly the price point is very good it's very competitive it made high-end wheels like this much more accessible to people like me so more power to Gomez and hope that you will be bringing out more exciting products in the market uh, I will be following uh, very closely on that so thank you and uh, uh thank you so much for tuning in if you have any comments or questions please uh don't hesitate to uh, put it in down below i'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities and just a quick reminder i do uh, stream myself i mainly do iRacing racing contents i stream in the twitch youtube and facebook uh, please consider following consider checking them out it could be uh, interesting at times yeah and fun uh, dramatic sometimes so check them out thank you so much for tuning in and uh, hope to see you in the next videos cheers